So in this video, we're going to do another example of the addition rule. Here we want to count the number of three digits numbers that are divisible by five, right? So we have everything between 100 and 999. Those are the three digit numbers. We can go from 100 to 999. How many of them are divisible by five? Well, here we're going to use the addition rule. So we're going to say that A is the set of all three-digit numbers divisible by 5. So A involves all those numbers that are divisible by 5. And I want to break this into two mutually disjoint subsets. How do you know if a number is divisible by 5? Well, it either ends in a 0 or it ends in a 5. Um, so this is the set of all three-digit numbers ending in zero. And this is the set of all three digit numbers ending in five. Right, and we can use the addition rule as long as these two sets are mutually disjoint. Right, and since no number can uh, end both a zero and five, we know there's no overlap. Um, but this does include all possible numbers that are vis divisible by 5, so their union is indeed our original set. So if you recall, A1 was the number of um, the number of numbers that end in 0. Well, we've got three digits, right? And we know that the last one has to be a zero. All right, so there's only one way to do that last digit. How many ways are there to do the first digit? Well, this is a bit, it'll be a little careful. There are not 10. You might think that there are 10, but if it starts, if, if the number leads with a zero, it's not considered a three digit number, right? 095 is a two digit number. So there's actually only nine ways to do um, this first digit. But this middle digit could be a zero or it could be anything else. So we've got 10. And if we multiply this all out, we're going to get that there are 90 ways uh, 90 different numbers that end in a zero, 90 different three digit numbers to end in a zero. If we do the same here where these end in five, well, again, we're going to have three numbers. The last one has to be a five. First one is nine for the same reason as above and 10. And so we're going to get that there are 90 digit, three digit numbers that end in a five. Right. Now, as an aside, you might notice that we can skip this. We can go straight to A, and we can say there's nine ways of doing the first number, ten ways of doing the second number, and two ways of doing the last number. It either ends in zero or it ends in five, and you're going to get 180, which is the same as 90 plus 90. Right. If, we if we add this. So we are, this is kind of a, a contrived example because we could do the same thing a little bit more simply, but other problems won't be so simple. And so it's good to, to be aware that we can solve this uh, using the addition rule. So to tie this all together, the number of three digits divisible by five is equal to the sum, as I said on the previous page of A1 and A2, each of these was 90. So the total number of three digit numbers divisible by five is 180. And again, here we can use the addition rule because I want to think, can I pick a number, a three digit number that, en that is divisible by five? Well, I can't pick one that ha ends in both zero and one. What the number I pick will end in zero or it will end in one. And that gives us the addition.